friends and welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine. And if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping in. I would love for you to subscribe and join our YouTube family. Today I'm going to be working on making some organizational items for my craft room and I am using all garbage and recyclable items. The first one I am starting with this binder. It's one that my son had and he's no longer using and I didn't want to just trash it. I'm sure I will find a use for <laughs> these um, dividers, but right now I am just going to be using this um, little binder clip, not that ring, but the little binder, um, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> clips. So I'm just going to try and remove it and it took a couple tries, but this is how I found the best way to remove it. <laughs> I just used a screwdriver and pried the first side up and then put some muscle into it and, and pulled up the second piece. And then for this little, um, I don't know what it's called, like a little screw or whatever, I just took a screwdriver and shoved it <laughs> until it finally popped through. I ended up having to um, put it on um, something so that it held it sturdy and I could also poke it through. Then this is a super simple DIY. Um, but I thought it would be really cute and helpful. So I'm just taking double-sided sticky tape for now. If you wanted this more permanent, maybe um, use some screws where you popped out those um, little rivets or whatever those were, um, just to hold it more secure. But right now, where I'm going to be putting it to show you isn't where I want it because I'm redoing my craft room. So I thought it would be cute to hold um, some paintbrushes or anything with like a hole or a little hanger. For this next one I am using this egg container and I thought it would be really useful. I am also using this spray paint to spray paint it white. It would be better if it was already white then I wouldn't have to use spray paint but whatever. <laughs> so after it was dry I just started filling it with the little items that you don't really know what to do with and you don't want a billion jars lying around. <laughs> so I just started filling it with um, little beads and clothespins and safety pins and screws. And I think it's going to be awesome because I can just keep it on a flat shelf or I can close it if I'm going to be moving it around and I don't have to worry about everything, you know, spilling all over. And it keeps them organized so I can see what I need to stock up on. And I'm sorry I've been kind of MIA lately. <laughs> um, We've been getting a lot of work done on our house, so from 8 in the morning until dark, I cannot get any quiet time. They are hammering, they are drilling, they <laughs> everything. So I thought I would get this really quick video out for you. So I have one coming out Sunday, so be on the lookout for that. For this next DIY, I am using this wine bottle holder from Target. These aluminum cans and some black paint I just mixed with a little bit of... Um, baking soda. You can always use powder or um, what's it called? <laughs> I can never remember what it's called. Uh, Plaster of Paris. <laughs> um, just to make it a little bit more chalky and a little bit more matte. So I just went over the whole wine bottle holder and gave it a good coat of black. And then I'm doing the same with these um, cans. And like I said, um, Saturday, or Sunday I will be having another video and that is going to be my um, using trash to create treasure challenge invite so be sure to keep a lookout for that. So after the black paint has dried, it wasn't fully dry so it's all over my fingers, but <laughs> I started painting the tops of them um, different colors because this is going to be where I store my markers. I'm obviously going to need more or different kinds of marker storage because I have a boatload of them. Um, so this is kind of just the start. And this will help keep me really organized and make it so that I put the markers back where they're supposed to be. <laughs> And plus, I think it's really fun to have like little pops of color like that showing on your shelves or your tabletop or whatever. So 
So then just to give it a little bit of something and a little cushy handle so that, you know, when you're carrying it around, it's nice and soft. <laughs> I just wrapped it in some of this rope. You can wrap it in twine or ribbon, whatever fits your space. And then once I was done wrapping, I just snipped off the end and then hot glued it underneath so that you couldn't see um, where it was secured. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've really missed you guys. I know I've taken almost a month off and it's going to be a slow go here, but I will get more videos out and it's going to be more consistent. So I hope you guys like this video. Thanks so much for watching and all your love and support. I hope you guys had a great holiday and I will see you next time. Bye.